you've appraised plenty of cars where you're like, oh my goodness, the negative equity here is like almost incomprehensible. That's a pattern of behavior that gets you there. That is buying cars when you should be leasing them usually. Just ask her, just hey, you had this car for three years, is that pretty typical for you? Do you typically keep them for about three years? At the end of the day, it doesn't make a difference to me which way you go. I want you to be happy. What I also don't want is for you to want another car in three years and now the six grand negative equity that you have today is double the problem because it will be if you buy cars and you keep them for six seven eight years then absolutely buy them and buy a used one and you'll save a lot of money over a new one but if you're getting a new car every three years like most americans are i'm just going to give you a little stat here okay because i'm getting into arguments with the internet over this okay <laughs> There's about, let's call it 240-ish million Americans that have a driver's license. Okay. Okay. There's about 16 to 17 million new cars sold every year, and another 30 to 35 million used cars sold every year. Okay. Okay, so think about that. You add those up, and you end up somewhere between 50 and 60 million cars per year are getting sold between new and used. Over a three year period, that means you're somewhere between like 160 and 180 million cars are sold between roughly 240 million Americans that are eligible to drive. Which means that most people are getting a car that is new to them, new or pre-owned, most people are in that cycle, whether they want to admit it or not, whether they buy new, whether they buy used, whether they lease, whether they pay cash, whether they finance, they're probably going to fall into that 160 to 180 million number of cars that are sold within a three year span. Think about that, 180 million divided by 240 million, that's the majority, right? That's over half. So most people are gonna get a car within that three year span. So if you're in that majority, we, let's really think through what the best option for you is going to be. If you're not one of those people, if you're one of the people that gets a car and you keep it for 10 years, then 100% buy it and finance it. If you're in the bigger number, then you should consider leasing. Not because it's a benefit to us, because you're going to, whether you buy the used one or the new one, you're going to get a new one in three, you're going to get a new car to you within three years. That's what the statistics tell us. That's just math. I didn't, I'm not making it up. That's just how many people buy a car every year.